is up guys it is joe here from joe tilts wrestling and we are fresh off of the royal rumble fresh off of the monday night raw after the royal rumble and we have some big news regarding wwe so without further ado let's get right into the first news story so according to pro wrestling sheet they posted seven hours ago that the current wwe united states champion andrade has been actually suspended due to a wellness policy violation. Now, if these follow normal wellness policy violations, this will be a 30-day suspension. However, I suppose it all depends on what kind of drug he took, whether it was performing enhancing, whether it was just, you know, a random drug like cocaine or something, which I really doubt. Um, but normally, nine times out of ten when it's wellness policy violations, it's all down to them taking an unprescribed drug that may or may not be like performance enhancing or like a painkiller or something like that. Um, however, the interesting thing about this storyline is Andrade actually competed and defended his United States Championship at the Royal Rumble and last night on Raw against Umberto Carrillo, winning both matches. Granting the second match was won by disqualification, but still, if at this point, surely he must have known he was going to be suspended. So why did Vince keep the United States Championship on him? Is he really not that invested in Umberto Carrillo to think that he can't hold the United States Championship for 30 days. Because as of right now, for the next 30 days, we are not going to have a United States Champion. And that is unfortunate. But Andrade has violated the wellness policy. And that's the price we pay for that. And now we get into our second news story, which is unfortunately two big injuries. Um, and, well, I say big. They're big stars. We don't know the extent of the actual injury itself. Firstly... The first injury took place at the Royal Rumble match when Edge speared AJ Styles. Styles unfortunately injured his arm. We don't know how badly, we don't know the extent of the injury, but AJ Styles was seen sort of holding his arm into his body, if that makes sense. Like, it was in pain. He was seen talking to referees and literally a few, literally maybe two minutes after um, Edge actually injured, well, Edge didn't injure him. AJ did an inside out bump and messed it up and landed on his arm awkwardly. But after the injury, literally two minutes later, Edge threw AJ Styles out. Um, I, Carl Anderson was still in the ring. Luke Gallows was about to come in, which makes me think that the OC were all meant to be in the ring and AJ was prematurely uh, thrown out. But we don't know the extent of the injury. But as of right now, we know that AJ Styles has hurt his arm. Moving on to the next injury is unfortunately Samoa Joe. Now this one, we don't know if it's bad, but Samoa Joe took on Buddy Murphy and Seth Rollins with Kevin Owens on Raw for the Raw Tag Team Championships. And in that match, he attempted a suicide dive on, I believe, Buddy Murphy, um, knocking him into the barricade. But Joe hit the ground hard on the outside. He hit it very hard and apparently was stunned. He was taken out of the match. Uh, obviously the match ended like really shortly after that, but. Joe was injured. Apparently, he may have hurt his head, potentially a concussion or something, but we don't know much on these news stories. All I want, I'm not going to tell you guys false information. All I want you guys to take away from this video is that AJ and Samoa Joe may be injured, could miss maybe one or two weeks' action at minimum, maybe even like a month maximum. And AJ, where it's his arm, it could be really bad. But Hopefully it's not. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. They were our news stories for today. I've been Joe from Joe's Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Stay tuned for more wrestling content. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.